In this lesson, we're going to take a look at dimensioning, adding dimensions, managing and editing dimensions. Before we do that, we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about dimension styles. So dimension styles affect the visual appearance of various aspects of your dimensions. If I right click on the dimension style, I can select properties which will launch the drawing explorer in the dimension styles category. Here we can see all of the styles that have been created. On the right hand side of the dialog box we can see various properties for lines and arrows, text, fit options, primary units, etc. As you make changes to these properties, those changes are then saved to the style that you're working on and as a result any dimensions that are associated with that style will receive these property settings. So looking at annotative, we can see that that is an annotative dimension style. We'll talk about annotative dimensions a little later in this course. Here I've selected dual dim dimension style and you can see that it displays both primary and alternate units. Selecting decimal two we can see the standard decimal dimension to two decimal places. Decimal zero will be the same dimension format with no decimal places. And we also have a dimension style for center mark and center line settings. The end result, as you will see as you progress through this lesson, is you're going to create several dimensions on this drawing and those dimensions will be associated with the dimension styles. If we look in this area of the drawing here we have some examples of using dimension styles so we have the same identical shape repeated four times but dimensioned using dimensions which have been assigned different dimension styles and or the properties of the dimensions have been modified manually using the properties palette. So this is a great example of how you can use dimension styles to control the appearance of dimensions in your drawing. Okay, let's jump right into creating dimensions in BricsCAD. One of the first things that we need to do is set the dimension style to decimal dash two. So you can do that from the status bar. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is using the quad cursor, menu will select the linear dimension and select two points locate the dimension and then press enter or use the right click option to repeat the command and again we'll select two points and position the dimension We'll continue the linear dimension command. And again, selecting two points on the construction geometry and positioning the dimension. Moving down, we'll again create a aligned dimension now let's go ahead and execute the angular dimension command from the menu select the two lines and position the dimension repeat the angular dimension this time we'll place it on the top feature here. Continuing to place dimensions from the dimension menu we'll choose the arc option and select the arc. Next we'll drag the arc link dimension and locate it about at that position. This time we'll use the angular dimension command again select the arc and we'll get an angle for the total length of the arc. Next we'll go to the dimension menu and 
select radius, it's choosing the arc in the lower slot. So there we can see it, 45 unit radius. Panning back up to the drawing, we'll select the diameter dimension and place a diameter dimension on the hole. Left click to position the dimension. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is change the dimension style to dual dimensions and pan over to the right of the drawing and let's place a few dimensions here using this new dimension style. So again, I'm going to select the linear dimension command, select this point here and the second point on the opposite side, locate the dimension and you can see that this dimension style utilizes dual units above and below the dimension line. Let's go ahead and place a vertical dimension. Next, we're going to create or place another horizontal dimension. And this time we're going to use snap tracking to align those dimensions up horizontally. Continuing with the dimensioning, we want to change the dimension style to decimal zero. And again, place a linear dimension, making sure we go from right to left, the end point and center point. And the reason the sequence is important is because this is the first of the continued dimension that we are going to place next to the next center point and then the end point. So the continued dimension just continues from where you left off. Okay, so now we'll pan to the left side of the drawing and place some additional dimensions. This time we're going to use the baseline dimension command. So first I want to use a linear dimension going from bottom to top. So selecting these two points, that becomes the first of my baseline dimensions. So I'm going to position that and then on the dimension menu choose baseline and then select the tops of each of the openings. And you'll see that the baseline dimensions are automatically staggered. Okay, we'll complete this lesson by panning over to the top left view in the drawing and placing a center mark on the hole. So dimension menu, center marks and lines, and click the center mark command, this time choosing the outside circle and the center mark is drawn. This completes the lesson on creating and managing dimensions in BricsCAD.